Hey guys, Jerry Fox here, and it seems it's that time of the month. Because the month is almost over, and people are just trying to cram stupidity in. Take a look at this guy that was filmed walking down Phoenix, Arizona, dressed like, well, you know what he looks like. And despite what it looks like, it's actually all fake. It was just some amateur director that was filming his 16-year-old nephew after he got him to look like a terrorist with that blue dress and walk down the street. He claims that he was just testing to see how long it took the police to respond to this, especially after the Dark Knight shooting. And this guy's a fucking dumbass, not to mention a coward. Because even after you get past how stupid all this was, he still didn't have the balls to do it himself. And besides that, he was carrying a fake RPG. The cops don't know this. And I'm just freaking surprised they didn't shoot him on sight. And so with stupid out of the way, let's talk about chocolate. Because overseas, Nestel has started this new campaign where you can win just over $15,000 called We Will Find You. So how it works is that during this campaign, six lucky people will open a bar that activates its GPS chip and within 24 hours, they're literally gonna find you. And they're not just gonna send you a check. They're gonna get their team of commanders in a helicopter and rush towards your location. Then jump down and hand you a briefcase with all of the money. I really like the idea of this campaign. I would be buying chocolate if they had this in the US. But I already see a couple of problems. So what if they accidentally throw it away? That's what everyone would do, especially if it was a child. Or how about if you pick one of these right before you get on your flight to the US? How far are they willing to go to find you? All right, and I say this story for last. You guys decide how you feel about it. So in this picture, you see this Chinese guy, Tian, that's been really devastated by the passing away of two of his children, the latest, an 18-year-old son. He claims they've been horribly hurt by all of this. So Tian and his wife decided to keep their son's remains, as in body, in an ice box that they have in their home. And when they're overcome with grief, they open the box and talk to him. Oh, what the fuck? I know these two have gone through something horrible. And you just feel for them. This is really creepy. And I'll leave you guys with that. If you guys have any thoughts about any of the stories, especially the last one, just let me know below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.